Tired of messy notes and forgotten ideas? In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to master Evernote to stay organized, focused, and productive. Let's jump in. So Evernote is a pretty popular notes and task managing app. You can download it on your phone, either Android or iPhone, or use it on the browser. It even has an extension for Google Chrome. So, once you go ahead to evernote.com and create your account, your main dashboard will look something like this. Now, in the menu on the left, you can create a new note, new task or event, and you have your menu items as well. Home, shortcuts, notes, tasks, files, calendar, templates. You also have notebooks, tags, and shared with you. Now, let's create a new note just to show you how it works. So, click on the note here, plus note. And in here, you can add the note title. So let's say test note. And you can insert even task items into the note. And let's add a task item. So here a new, you can even add new link note, calendar event, link, note link, table, divider, and more items right here, which is pretty cool. So it's not only for simple notes. So let's go ahead and add a task starting a new line let's insert a task here okay so like the video this is a to-do list for you the viewer okay hit enter to add another one subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon now for each task item you can set a date for day or tomorrow or add a custom date you can mark as recurring, so if it's monthly, weekly, or bi-monthly, you name it. You can add a reminder, you can flag it, or you can assign to another one. And this is the task details, so you can open it in a new window to have more control. So here at the top, you have your other options. So if I select, for example, the text, I can edit the text format, the text font, the text size, color, and other settings. Now, you can notice here that it says first notebook. This is because in Evernote, notes are organized into notebooks. So you can create a notebook, for example, for your work, another notebook for your home, another one for your groceries, you name it. So let's go to first notebook, click on it. And you can see all the notes that are in the first notebook. Now, obviously, the only one is the test note that we just created. Now, if you go to the menu on the left and click on notebooks, you should see here the first notebook that is created. Now, you can go here to the three dots to add a new note, add a new note from template, share or rename the notebook. Let's rename it to my first notebook. OK, continue. And now if you click on it, you can expand it to this view and see all the notes. Now you can share the notebook. You can click here to add or see more actions, copy the link, move it, copy it to or duplicate it, edit tags, and so much more. Now, if you go here to the files option, you can manage all your files, all your media, all your documents, and you can add, click here to add a file, upload it from your computer if you want, and it opens a new note automatically for this file. Now, let's go back here to the home, now here are some steps you need to do in order to like continue creating your account. So click on get started to continue setting up your account. This is a newly created account. Now you can add events also. If I click on event, let's say my birthday or my first TED talk. Okay, you can add the start date, the end date and add it to the calendar. So we have the events here calendar. Now you can create the event and here you have the template. So you can add ready-made templates, which is pretty good. If I click on templates, okay, let's skip here and you can create your own template or view the template gallery. And here I open the template gallery. You can view many templates for stuff like contact information, monthly calendar, reading lists, meeting notes, and they are even categorized. So for school, you can have Cornell notes, math key equations and so much more and if you want one of the templates let's say the 2025 annual calendar click on it and you can click here to preview the template and this is how it looks like so if you decide to use it you can import it 
and here you can open it in the app or on web i'll open it on web and the template is being imported and as you can see the template is imported now if i click on use this template i can add it to my first notebook for example okay select and then it is added to my new notebook my first notebook now if i click here it's duplicated for some reason now if i click here i can add items in like january february so you can edit this note as you want so that's basically it a quick overview of the evernote note taking app that you can use to manage your notes tasks and events